Hey everyone, by you golf on the porch. What did we talk about today? What did we talk about today? Early release of the club. Had a couple phone calls this week. It was, it was funny how that turned out. Um, both gentlemen was having problems with the uh, drivers, and uh, it's it seems to be always the driver that gives us problems. So if if you guys would try what I was trying to show you today was the early release of the longer sticks and it works with the shorter ones too I mean I do it I use it with all my clubs okay uh, but, but really been working on it lately more and more okay with the shorter clubs and found out something very interesting I'll I'll get to that but yeah but but the feeling that I have is like all right, when I when I hinge back and I let my my hand just set. I mean, I'm not trying to do this. It's just the momentum sets and then when I start my downswing, it's like I'm throwing the club away from my body. Okay? Watch this. Downswing. I'm I'm actually feels like I'm throwing it away. But when I do that, I'm having a little right hand, a right side turn, keeping the left side closed. You know, we, we don't want to open up the, the lead side. And then swinging across the target line. Now, like I mentioned in the videos today, was normally I have a 12 and 6. Uh, I have a clock on the ground. 12 and 6 is my target line, 12 being the head where it's going. Uh, the target line and then I have a one and seven on that clock that I normally swing on okay but when you release when I'm releasing that club now I want to throw it out even further uh, backwards if you want to call it that uh, uh, what I what I would like to call it now my two and eight okay but really all I'm doing is trying to th I'm trying to throw it way out here uh, before I even get to center Okay, the ball's back here. Usually it's one and seven, but now it's way back here. And what that does, what that does, and using my hands, what that does, it squares up the club even more better for me. Now, folks, always remember when you when you're looking at a golf instruction or a demonstration on something from a someone on YouTube or whatever, it's what works for them. Okay, that's what works for them. Now, if this helps you, man, that's what it's all about. That's why I do these things. And those two guys, uh, let's see, it was uh, Joe, South Carolina, and Doug up in Washington. I, I believe it was those two guys. Uh, yeah, if it helps, this is what it's all about. But releasing the club turning the hands closing and man, I, I, it works for me what I just said it works for me if you're having trouble with the long sticks if you want to feel more powerful with even the shorter sticks stop start it early drop it throw it away from you turning in let the and what I'm right-handed okay now I've always had a problem with too much right hand and what it did was close down the left hand and sometimes give me a, a harder draw than I want but I have found out with the longer sticks that using more right hand it squares the face up even quicker and since I'm throwing it out even further uh, two and eight or maybe three and nine it's just a feeling Closing that using that right hand, it closes the face down. Nice little shots, straight baby draw. It's just what works for me. Maybe it'll work for you. Okay, uh, that's about it. Okay, on the longer sticks. Um, well, I heard the U.S. Uh, uh, Olympic, we brought home the gold in golf. Man, I tell you, that's some crazy hours, you know friend of mine was said he got up at four o'clock this morning to watch it <laughs> I got up four o'clock this morning to go to work and to play a little golf <laughs> anyway folks having problems with long six and it doesn't make sense 
you know how to get hold of me, please do. And we'll work it out.